piece is interesting, and I was really thrilled to see that you know they've added um, a creativity strand to it, and and it. Now I have a little more faith in it. I think PISA has tested what PISA needs to test, and, and those metrics have shown exactly what they needed to show. I'm not sure that has anything to do with learning. And so I think there's a huge disconnect. If, if we're recognizing in, tw in the 21st century, in 2015 in the 21st century, that learning needs to be different, then everything needs to be different. The curriculum needs to be different. The ways we invite kids to work and gain knowledge needs to be different. And I think more than things like PISA, I think we need to return to things like Reggio around how do you make learning visible? How, how do I show you what I know? And how do we invite children to make authentic and real demonstrations of their learning? Because when we see that, and when learning and thinking becomes visible, then I think we truly can help people learn and learn deeply. And, and as educators, jump in and provide the supports that students need to make that next step. So the work of Elliot Eisner around making thinking visible, the work of um, Reggio in terms of making, making learning visible in those ways of documenting learning, I think those are huge. I think that's much bigger than PISA. And it really goes to important uses of technology to create real portfolios that show, show what kids know and show how they learn.